Hey guys, I'm Tim from Calma Film Club and I'm here to talk to you about Dolly Zoom. Dolly Zoom is an effect used in films and cinema to create drama, intensity, uh, a feeling of paranoia, claustrophobia, or other distressing effects. Uh, another name for it is the Vertigo effect because of its first instance of use in the movie Vertigo by Alfred Hitchcock. Other names for the Dolly Zoom are the Zolly shot, the trucking shot, and the tracking shot. Another interesting instance of its use is in the movie, The Fellowship of the Ring. In this scene, Frodo feels the presence of the Black Riders and is filled with dread, and the dolly zoom is used to replicate this feeling to the viewer. Notice how the combination of the dolly movement and the zoom seem to cause the image to distort. We're going to show you how to properly execute this effect. To understand the dolly zoom, we have to break it down into the dolly movement and the zoom movement. A dolly movement is pretty much just moving the camera towards, away from, or with your subject. Notice how the background zooms at a slower rate than the subject does. We see this dolly movement used more often than just a normal zoom, and has a more cinematic look. The zoom movement is quite literally zooming the camera using the little dial on the camera. Notice how the background moves at the same rate as the subject, creating a more 2D feel and more boring footage. For this reason, we don't see zooms as much in cinematography unless this fact is intended, like, for example, The Office. Hey, Kev, what were you saying before about the paperwork? What are you doing now? Go. Stop worry. So how do we film a dolly zoom? The key to filming a perfect dolly zoom is timing. You want to be moving the camera at the same rate, or a rate that works for the effect that you want, to produce the perfect dolly zoom. Notice now that the subject stays relatively the same size, but the background distorts. Now there's a number of ways to film a dolly zoom. The normal or classic way to do it is to use a dolly, you take your camera with your tripod and you mount it on the dolly and you push it in the desired direction and zoom in or out, depending on what kind of effect you want to use. Now, if you don't have a dolly, that's okay. There's still a number of things you can do. The easiest thing would be to take a chair, preferably one with wheels, have your cameraman sit in the chair and have someone push the chair with the cameraman as they hold the camera and zoom in or out. You can even use a shoulder mount. Now, there's a few things you want to watch out for when filming your dolly zoom. You have to zoom at the perfect rate and at a constant rate. A zoom that's too fast or inconsistent and erratic will destroy the cinematic effect. The same goes for your dolly movement. So, in conclusion, if you want a cool, awesome effect to add to your arsenal of cinematic effects, use the dolly zoom. It's pretty simple to do. You just mount your tripod on your dolly, push it, and zoom in or out. It's just, it's a really cool thing that you can use to spice up your films, and it's pretty easy to do. So, to my fellow film enthusiasts, or people who have ended up on my YouTube channel at 4 o'clock in the morning, I give you the Dolly Zoom.